we are called to be saints. You know, to me it sounds a little bit ambitious or, or pretentious or proud. Don't you think? I mean, the idea of being a saint. I mean, I don't know about you, but I always tend to see saints as very special people. An unusual breed, to say the least. Like St. Stephen, who gave his life for Jesus' sake by being stoned to death. Or St. Thomas More, who was beheaded because he chose to be God's servant and not the king's. Or St. Martin de Porres, who sold himself into slavery in order that he could care for the black slaves who were chained to their oars in the galley ships. Or Mother Teresa, rescuing the dying from the streets of India for Christ. Now that's the stuff of sanctity in my mind. So what does that have to do with us? Ordinary people gathered here at this parish center on a Saturday in Lent. Well, you may tempt you to say, not much. But I say to you, it has everything to do with us. Everything to do with us. Because sanctity is our Christian calling. Because to be a saint, to be holy, is basically to be one with God. To be one with God. It means that you try and live the two great commandments of the law that we heard this past week at the Gospel. Love God more than anything else and love your brothers and sisters at least as much as you love yourself. Now please understand, this is not heroic holiness. This isn't dying a martyr's death for Christ or this isn't giving your life to your friends. I'm talking about basic holiness, sanctity 101. Without that much holiness, then you and I are Christians in name only. The truth is, the power to do this, the capacity to be saints, we already have it. God lives within us because of the sacrament of baptism, which we have all received. So, if that's true, then his life, his love, his sanctifying power courses through us like another bloodstream. You don't need to look around you. You don't have to search for some magic formula or feed questions into Google.com. Our holiness is within. It consists of the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit making their home in us. And because of that power of the Trinity living in us, we are one with God. We belong to God's family. And that makes us pretty incredible people. Children of the Father, brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ, and temples of the Holy Spirit. 